Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. Today I wanted to revisit the Piranha Tooth Bar. I had some old footage that I never did use um, where I was uh, cleaning out up there by the horses where uh, hay gets thrown over to them and it's at the bottom of the hill up against that fence and it just gets really muddy and mucked up. So I figured uh, I would just kind of do a little narration about uh, the Prana Tooth Bar and some of the things that I love about it and w that I use it for while some of this video plays. And then um, I will talk about the one thing, the kryptonite to the Piranha Tooth Bar. And uh, in that case, I have to use a different implement. So anyways, grab you a drink and <laughs> stick around. And let's talk about the Piranha Tooth Bar. Welcome back to the O&D Life, where we get orange and dirty. This is where you can come for some lessons learned from a new tractor owner who learned the hard way, but also learn about some products that I've found that has made my tractor a lot more usable, a lot more enjoyable, and has helped me out tremendously around the homestead. So stick around and today we'll be talking about something that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Okay, so when I first got my BX, the regular straight edge of the bucket, I, I gotta say I was really disappointed in how poorly it would dig into the dirt. Even some small um, underbrush, you know, if I was just trying to um, get under it and pop it out, it, it, it wouldn't penetrate very much. So I quickly realized, man, I, I, I need some a tooth bar or the Piranha tooth bar. I had seen from BX, BX Spanded. I had seen the Piranha Tooth Bar, you know, in the forums and, um, you know, started looking at getting both. I also knew I wanted to get some Under Armour for the tractor if I was going to do any clearing whatsoever. Um, so I decided to uh, go with the Piranha Tooth Bar from Be Expanded. And it converts the little BX into a digging machine. I've got a uh, another video, which I'll put a link to up there where I, I talk about the Piranha Tooth Bar. In fact, it was during that video and some of the footage I was getting with that is when I rolled my tractor, actually. So um, if you haven't seen that video, hey, I'll, I'll put that in the uh, up there or in the description as well. But uh, I think then I did another video uh, an orange and dirty video where I was building uh, dog dens, basically, to put some dog houses in, into the side of the hill. And um, I was using the backhoe at first, and I ended up finding um, that the, the bucket, the piranha tooth bar, dug 10 times better. You know, it's so wide, I was able to move the material out um, I'll put a link to that video. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's pretty amazing. The first half of the video is using the backhoe, and then the second half of it is using uh, the Piranha Tooth Bar on the bucket. So, you know, for digging into hard dirt, um, it is fantastic. Um, digging it up small underbrush and, and saplings, you can get it angled just into those roots, and then uh, curl your bucket up and pop them over, you know, bend bend the brush back, you know, drive into it and bend it back. And then you can get to the roots and uh, pop things out. It, it's worked fantastic. There has been some discussion on the forums, you know, what's better, the piranha tooth bar or regular tooth bars? I... And, and there is one guy on there that has had both. And he really says, you know, they both, um, 
will do the job as far as helping dig into dirt and things, um, help get under roots. You know, they, they both will do the job. Uh, I just think the uh, Piranha Tooth Bar looks, uh, looks pretty wicked, and it is sharp. I uh, ran into it with my calf when I first got it, and uh, put a pretty good gash in my leg. So it, it, and it has held up. So, you know, the video that you see uh, where I first, you know, review it or discuss it in, in more depth, it is, um, you know, you, you'll see the fine point on it, uh, fine edge on it, and it's held up. I have used it to, you know, try and get under some concrete um, pry it up, you know, from these posts, you know, where, where the posts were in the ground with concrete. And I use that to try and just lift it out just a little bit. And, you know, the, the, the teeth have held up extremely well. So I've been really impressed. I've also used it to dig out a great big root, um, a tree. You know what? You know, I always have my dogs with me, it seems like. One of them's eating a, a nut, an acorn, so apologize for that, but hey, that's life. Anyway, so one of the areas that um, I do struggle with, with using the Piranha Tooth Bar, is the, the muck that is all mixed up with hay. What happens is I can get into it or I start to push into it and because it's all, um, you know, it's got all that hay and the fibers and it, it ends up not, it just pushing all that or stopping me and, and I can't get a good bucket full. There I got a pretty decent bucket full. You know, there's a little bit of uh, art to it where sometimes I kind of get under it, drive into it a little bit and can get enough into it and get it otherwise what happens is it will um, you know fall back out of the bucket I think they might show it here but it's been really wet and so it was pretty slick and and just a mess eh, managed to get a bucket full there uh, almost a bucket full but that is the Achilles Hill or the kryptonite is when there's a lot of that old hay that's not decomposed all the way um, kind of creates a big blob <laughs> glob and uh, it's hard to get it into your bucket when you start to lift it out it's interconnected to stuff that's still on the ground and it pulls your whole um, bucket full out basically so I actually did a decent job there getting some bucketfuls, but it's, it's, you know, it takes, takes a little bit, but it, um, it has, uh, worked well in every other application that I've used it for. So couldn't be more pleased. I highly, highly recommend it. I really like it. So here in a little bit, I'm, well, I'm going to go ahead and let this play out. You can just kind of see it in action <laughs> with this muck. And then uh, I think we'll get to the alternative that I used for the muck. Okay, here we are. We're using the grapple and, you know, just was able to kind of go into it and pick it all up. You know, it wants to stay together, so that's what I did. You know, sometimes I just back down that hill quite often and uh, then turn around down there by the trailer, put it in there. I think that day I did, well, this was uh, actually over three days worth three different times um, the 
beginning of the video when the ground was much more dry. That was actually last summer and I just never did use the video. This, um, you know, where it's really wet and dark, um, that was the same weekend on two different days. And, uh, you know, that's when I went ahead and put the grapple on to try and grab, grab some of that muck. So it ended up working. So that is the only, only thing that, um, uh, the, the Piranha Tooth Bar hasn't uh, just really um, benefited me, I guess you could say. And, and you know, I say that, it probably, compared to the straight edge of the bucket, it probably does do a lot better. I was able to get some of the buckets, just not as full. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and try the grapple and pick up some of the big clumps of muck with the grapple and, and that worked you know but then as you get into smaller clumps um you're not picking up as much so it gave me a reason to put the grapple on though so that's always fun anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up please uh comment share it with anyone that might be interested in uh, hearing about the Piranha Tooth Bar. Check out some of the other videos that I've linked to it. Uh, some some of the links are in the description. Some of the links uh, will be, you know, those that go across the top. Check out the Facebook page, O&D Life, as well as the Amazon store. Some of the uh, products in there is that I, that I use or would like to use and eventually I'll, I'll pick them up. Uh, some of them you, you, you'll have seen me use in the videos already. So check it, check it out. I'd appreciate it and it helps support the channel with some of, some of those items. Um, in the description, I try to put links to the videos and the, uh, some of the implement companies that I've used. So check that out. Feel free to, to browse around. Uh, the reason why I made this, uh, started doing this channel was, you know, I got hooked watching videos, tractor videos in anticipation of my tractor uh, and wanting to see, you know, the different implements and how they're used and, uh, you know, so this is my way of, of paying it back, if you will. Plus I've used YouTube for learning how to do some plumbing stuff, some electrical stuff. Saved me from having to pay someone to do it. I was able to do it myself. So, hope the video helps, you know, one of you, some of you, or just for the entertainment value. Thanks a lot for watching. Owned out.